where is actually a shared responsibility. Because in the state of Texas, I think my understanding is, the last time I checked the data, it's about a 50-50 proposition, near a 50-50 proposition in terms of who caused the crash. But at the end of the day, it doesn't matter who caused it, because the facts remain that every single crash that happens in this state is preventable. It's preventable and it's a result of somebody not doing the right thing, not paying attention, being inattentive, speeding, uh, not signaling, driving uh, too aggressively, and in too many cases, people drinking and driving. We take this issue very seriously in the Austin Police Department because our friends, our neighbors, and the community we serve have a lot of people riding motorcycles. If you look to my right over here, your left, I've got the largest, I believe, motorcycle unit, law enforcement unit in the state, and they're our heroes, so I want to give them a big hand because they're out there all the time <laughs> doing a fantastic job. But here's the sad truth, that from January and March, the Austin Police Department has responded to five motorcycle-related crashes, related crashes that have resulted in uh, fatalities. Four of those deaths occurred in one week. That means that four families, four neighborhoods, four communities had to bury somebody. Somebody lost a loved one in an incident that was completely preventable. Think of this. We're only in March, and we've had five people die on motorcycles. Compare this to only 13 or 13 too many in all of 2014. We really can't continue this trend because we owe it to one another to do our best to save lives. I worry about our community members, I worry about our officers, I worry about our friends, and I worry that we're not doing enough. Slow down, don't drink and drive, don't check your phone or text, check blind spots. For the motorcycle riders, I know that it's great to have the feel of that rush of the air and that freedom, but when you live in a state, then you have overcrowded cities with roadways that are congested and people aren't paying attention, and you have a countryside that has a lot of wild animals that love to run out in front of you, there's a good chance you're going to go down. And when you go down, the one thing that you can do to really help you survive, and that's wear a helmet. Although it's not required for people over 21, the bottom line is it may not be required, but it is required if you want to come home to your families and improve your chances of surviving and having the same quality of life. So I want to just say to Terry and TechStock, thank you for kicking off this Share the Road campaign. It really is about saving lives. It's really about shared responsibility. And to all the law enforcement that are here, thanks for making Texas the great place it is to live. And now I'd like to turn it back over to my good friend, Terry.